Hi world, this is Jetty Dad One for Nuke the News Media. And tonight I want to talk about a few things that's going on. Um, I didn't know whether I wanted to get into this or not, but I believe that it needs to be said. We are supposed to be here finding the truth, figuring out what's going on, figuring out what the powers that be has up their sleeve, what they got going for us, what their plans are. Now, we've just had a worldwide alert go out everywhere. Yesterday, it's all the news that I heard, was that there's a terrorist threat. It's been never been this bad since 9-11 happened. Okay, there's this going on, yet we have a feud going on between YouTubers that bring out things such as harp, solar effects, weather, different anomalies like that, earthquakes. Now, I have subscribed to both of these channels, and I have not heard either one of them on any of their presentations threatening the other or coming out and saying negative things about any one on YouTube. They're basically straightforward. This is what's going on here. This is what's going on there for one of them. The other guy shows harp signatures going on the screen and flashes and things like that that you can see. And doesn't say a word. Doesn't say anything. But the comments that he has made, I guess, have caused problems. Okay. Let me tell you right now. My name is Chad Noyes. N-O-Y-E-S. C-H-A-D. N-O-Y-E-S. Okay. If you think you're going to be anonymous here online, then you're insane. Haven't you been paying attention? That's why I'm not afraid to put my picture up here. And yes, that is my real picture up there. I'm 43 years old. And uh, I'm not afraid for anybody to know where I live or who I am. I have nothing to hide. The things that I've done in life have been honorable, have been good. I have things that I can talk to my grandchildren about. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Even the mistakes that I've made, I am not ashamed of. But I have seen groups of these YouTubers attack others who have been successful with certain videos and their channels attack them and gang up on them for instance Roy Potter an honorable man I would not expect Roy Potter to produce any kind of documents just because I asked for them I can look at his face and listen to the man and I know he's telling the truth I don't have to get on there and rant and rave about if you're not going to show me the proof then you're a liar that's bull crap I mean our government doesn't do that yet most everybody listens to what they say 
you could sure you can put up a dog and pony show just like the media does and people are going to listen and follow this type of behavior is childish is non-productive to the YouTube community and the thing that's been hurt in the end is not an observer's name or channel is not Dutch's safety it's the truth I will say that Dutch has taken a lot more heat than the other guy and it's unnecessary they have gone after him like I have never seen before now anybody who promotes the truth and promotes alternative media will be attacked will have to deal with trolls you will have computer problems you will have all kinds of things go down online I've never been gang stalked or anything like that but where I live I can go outside my house and shoot a turkey in my front yard and not have to worry about somebody calling the cops that's why I say get out of the cities get out of them cesspools I'm not out here to make money off of YouTube I did ask for help one time to help me with some medical bills and there were two people who helped and thank the Lord for them because it paid for my medication for that month it helped pay for my medication that month and I'm and I'm glad for them and I'm glad for them you know they they did a great service to me I want you to ask yourself some questions who benefits from these attacks what is the motive behind these attacks I also know that there's several others that have been attacked by this little gang on YouTube and there's one guy out there who's really good with comp computers and really digs deep into people's stuff and is really vulgar and really vile and paints his face up and such as that and has several ghost channels on YouTube and he's affiliated with this little gang that has gone around and uh, caused problems for other YouTubers this was one reason Roy Potter got away from YouTube old Marine Vaughn had his channel shut down probably because of the same type of crap um, oh what's his name um, conservatives prime there there's another one you know he was driven away from YouTube you know whether he lived in Russia or in Georgia who freaking cares he brought us some good information that seemed very viable and credible and I believe it still is to this day that's all any of us are trying to do is get to the truth all of us have contributed to the truth but what's going on right now is hurting the truth it is hurting truthers and patriots on YouTube it is causing a great divide they didn't divide us with Trevon Martin and uh, Zimmerman but they're dividing us now through this bullcrap and I want to know who's behind it 
if it even is observer. They may not even be behind it. It could be someone else. People do hack other people's stuff. It happens all the time. But this stuff is child play. It's not mature. So please, don't give them the attention that they don't deserve. Let's move on to the truth. Let's move on to see what's happening here. Valuable time has been wasted on this little feud. And there's a lot of these little feuds going on. Please don't put comments in there to fuel the fire. Because we have no idea. We know nothing. And it doesn't matter. If they're backing what they say with facts, then that's all we need to know. It's all we need to care about. If what they're saying is the truth, then so be it. We all have character flaws. We all have problems. We all have ghosts in our past, skeletons in our closets. Big deal. It's a part of being a human being. Get over it. Don't be afraid to show who you are here on YouTube. Don't be afraid to say who you are. I'm not. And I'm not going to be. I'm more afraid of the friggin' the the man coming and knocking on my door and believe you they know who i am they know who you are they know who you are they know who all of us are we're first on their list but this kind of crap this bickering and quarreling we're not going to find out the truth like this and don't drag other people in with your accusations. Let them put their own accusations out there if they feel like they want to attack someone. But as far as I'm concerned, we're not about that. That's not what we're supposed to be about. And, uh, yeah, I've said a few little things that I've observed, that I've seen go down. And I'm calling it like I see it. And that's all I'm doing, calling it like I'm seeing it. Anyways, let's get past this, people. Let's get on to the truth. Let's get back on to finding out the plans of the New World Order, of the Illuminati, of the current administration, and what they have in store for us. Because believe me, if they can get us to bicker and quarrel and out each other and ourselves, then they've already won. I hope everyone's well. This is Chatty Dad 1 for Nuke the News Media. God bless and help us all. Apologize to those who you need to, and I apologize to any if I've upset any, because it's not my intention. I just want this crap to end. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. I hope we haven't lost already. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. It is hard to find. Over and out.